Hello replayers, this is Mr. Ultimate and welcome to Violet by Forever Entertainment. This is a point and click puzzle adventure game. Looked very interesting so I'd like to go ahead and get into it. So far we've got our opening animation here and it looks like family is on a trip. The title character Violet doesn't look too happy about it. And all of a sudden we got the Tim Burton music playing. Alright. Oh, looks like they're moving to a new house. Okay. So this is what Coraline, I mean, sorry, Violet is not happy about. <laughs> sorry, I had to because already this is kind of starting out just like Coraline. Moving into the new home. It looks kind of shabby. Looks kind of shabby. Right, yep, it's in disrepair. Old and creaky. Parents are already arguing. Come on. Can't, can't we just have five minutes of peace in the house? Look what you're doing to Violet. Yeah, she's definitely not happy about this. Ah, it's red eyes. Be careful, don't get too close. Don't stick your hand in there. What's wrong with you, girl? Uh, you know, that's the best option for what could have happened, but I bet you that's still bad. Replayers, I just want you guys to know you should not stick your hands into strange holes. That's not a good idea. All right, so just make a note of that. I always try to give you guys good advice. Uh, some kind of spider creature here. Ripping something apart. A bumblebee or something. Okay. Alright. You want me to drag this? Alright, this is not doing anything. I, I can talk to this one. Okay, this other uh, bee wants to escape. So, we're gonna rock these cages together. And, I guess, we're gonna try to open each other's cages. All right, got it. Oh, no, we just made a spark. All right, don't trust strange wasps. Oh, what's this? Telekinesis. Okay. All right, is that what that did? You just gave me telekinesis? All right, this looks like a pearl or something right here. Ah, it is. Put them in the bag. All right, so grab the pearls. What is that? Ooh, I almost grabbed the roach. Oh, I can grab this. Can take that. Oh, I can't put that in the bag. Alright, what else can I grab? Is there anything else? Grab the spider. Use my telekinesis to rip it apart. Uh, apparently not. Ooh, that moved. That one's still alive. Oh. Is this the insect version of, like, saw or something like that? Let's see, what else can I do? Ah, I can move stuff. That didn't give me any indication. I'm just clicking on stuff. So, yeah. Right, I can just keep moving it. Um, let's see. Can't pick that up. There's a switch here. <laughs> Uh, light the lights. Okay. Anyway, there's a paper here too. Can I? Can I get? Can I have that? Ah, I can have that. Fairies. These tiny buzzing pranksters do not fulfill any wishes except their own, and they cause allergies. Oh man, the fairies, you know, aren't too good. The symptoms are rather interesting, though. Once exposed to fairy dust, one starts to gain magical skills. What? It's not a bad trade-off for some allergies. Truth is that these skills are very uneven and overdosing is even dangerous. Every traveler should be keeping contact with fairies to a minimum. Good to know. Okay, I'm glad I got this uh, pamphlet. Little after-school special thing about the dangers of fairy dust. Don't overdose on fairy dust. So we're, le we're learning things. Um, don't stick your hands into strange holes. Don't OD on fairy dust. Okay. 
So, all right, what, what were we doing before I started reading that? Um, oh, oh, this makes a spark right here. So I'm gonna use that to make contact. And then we're gonna light up all the lights. Oh no, we started a fire. Oh my God, we just bought this house. We're gonna burn it down. Oh, okay, grab onto her. Gra grab the fairy. No, don't leave the fairy behind. The fairy just saved your life. Oh my God, Violet, you have things to learn about loyalty. All right, you, oh man. You better save that fairy at some point, young lady. Grab these pearls. See, there's some pearls scattered around. Where else? There's one right there. One right there. Lots of pearls, lots of pearls. I'm gonna be rich in pearls. Uh, is this a monster? Is this gonna kill me? I can grab it. Okay, oh. I can lure something here. Lure that spider over here. Alright. So this looks out of place. So, oh, I can grab it. Yeah, yeah. Uh oh, that thing's watching me. What is this? Oh! Just looking at the thing. Haunted tea kettle. There's nothing more malicious than a haunted tea kettle. Time and again, I tried taming it, but to no avail. It's constantly belching steam and splashing tea everywhere. Sometimes it even scatters leaves out of spite. It's no wonder why the giants threw them out of the sky one day and chose to brew their tea in pots. Yeah, that's what I do with my haunted tea kettles. You know, so far, uh, not really learning much new here. Just some basic everyday stuff. Strange holes, fairy dust, haunted teapots. But, um, but, uh, good nonetheless. Um, uh, see, there's a little whistle here. Aha! What happened to the whistle? Oh, it went at my backpack. Alright. I don't know what I can use the whistle for. What happens if I try to get past the teapot? What's it gonna do? I'm curious. It's probably bad. I wonder if it... Can you die in this game? Ah! Ooh! Ooh! That looked like it hurt. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I almost called her Coraline. <laughs> Alright, what else are, can we do? What else can we do? Um, let's go back over here. Let's get away from this thing. It's malicious. Um, looks like a little door right there. Ah! Yep. Hiding pearls. So that's your game. Is that one? No. Alright, get away from the teapot. Get away from the teapot. This is a different color than all the other diamonds. Aha! Okay, what else? Is there more? Okay, you're... I suppose I need you. You're there. Come on. Come down. Come on down. There we go. Because you're making a lot of noise. Maybe I'll get it to eat the fly. I don't see how that would help me. Um, this is something I can grab. There we go. Alright. So what does that do for me? Can I pick it up? No. Um, this bottle's here. It's obviously for something. There's a spoon. Oh, wedge. Some lever action here. Okay. Okay, alright. Tell me what to do. Yeah, nicely done. That was very helpful of her. I wish she had kind of waited until I had a chance to figure out for myself, though, but, um, yeah, what you gonna do? I guess this is kind of like teaching you the mechanics of the game. You know, get you thinking in that mindset so you can figure out the puzzles to come. Alright, so, now... What do I do? Let's put the... I'll dab that and I'll jam it in your eye. No, that's not going to help. See, this fly is not doing anything useful. Alright, come on. Oh, the fly is drinking whatever this is. Okay. Oh, oh. Wait a minute. Let's try this. Cork it up. I caught a fly. And the teapot is looking at the fly. Wait a minute. Ah, uh, okay, okay. It's occupied with the fly. Now we can go. No, don't, uh, don't do that, girl. Get a move on. 
Okay, so we've escaped a spider. We abandoned the fairy that gave us magical powers and helped us escape, but we made it past a haunted teapot. I think that that is quite a lot of progress for the first episode, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it right here. Once again, this has been Violet. Link to the game is going to be in the description below if you'd like to try it out for yourself. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more unique indie games. And also be sure to visit us at the main site, extended-replay.com. Hope to see you there soon, guys. And until next time, I remain Mr. Ultimate.